Good morning guys, how's it going? Welcome to the two days in between Milan and Paris Fashion Week. And so we are on our way to Paris Fashion Week in this video that is coming up. But we do have a couple of days at home and today I have quite the busy day. One second, just realized. Let me get into my suitcase. We've only been home a day and a bit. I haven't yet unpacked, so see my makeup. A lot of you have been DMing me. A lot of you know that during these weeks, I do get quite um, overwhelmed and very down on myself during these weeks because there are kind of a lot to handle. And I do, I've actually got a lot of thoughts on it this year and I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for making kind of big changes, but maybe, maybe we can chat about that next. Do I want to put this on or do I want to put this on? I've already put on my SPF 50. There are ways that I'm feeling currently. I'm still just trying to figure out right now. So, and I feel like I just need Paris Fashion Week to get out of the way first and then I'll know for sure like how I'm actually feeling and what I want to do progressing forward for the future and like in this career and the role that Fashion Week will have within that. I've already got quite a lot of thoughts on it. I can definitely chat about that soon. I am just so enjoying a really light makeup routine at the moment. I'm, I've been sort of putting it on TikTok when I've been getting ready in the morning. Um, and I've been just doing a very, very, very lightweight, very skincare based makeup routine. I'm just really, really enjoying it for my skin. I got so many compliments and comments about my skin actually at the Max Mara show in Milan. Taking off all my tan last night, I've um, I've been using this really amazing product that I found on TikTok. It's called Rose and Caramel, and it's a tan remover, and it's absolutely out of this world. I bought it on someone's recommendation. I kept seeing it, and I was like, is this just like a TikTok ad thing that no one's disclaiming? So I was like, Do you know what? Let me buy it, because it was on like a really good offer, and I've got it now, and it is really something. It's really amazing. You literally like put it on. It feels a bit like exfoliating salts and you put it on for a minute and then you go to like rub it off with a tanning mitt. Sorry, with an exfoliating mitt and it just goes straight off. Um, it's really, really good. So I am now super pale and ready for tonight's tan for Paddy. But it means that today when I go into London, one, I'm going in for my Louis Vuitton outfit fitting for the Louis Vuitton show in a couple of days in Paris, so I'm going in for that. And then after that, I'm very swiftly moving over to Larry King and I'm gonna be seeing my Amy, Amy Fish for a hair color. Cause I just feel like it's been a little minute and I've had a lot of hairstyles since my last appointment. And over time, obviously your hair just gets more and more and more dull from the amount that people touch it and the amount of product you have on it. I just want it to like richen up a little bit. I just want a little bit more of that gorgeous, like almost like copper tones running through it. That's what I'm after. So that's what I'm gonna go and do today. Um, yesterday, I watched the most adorable little film. I have a fantastic sponsor for the vlog who's sponsoring this vlog, Sky Cinema. And it means that I can review a film a month to tell you about. This month's film that I wanna tell you about, I watched it yesterday. It's called Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. Ooh. And honestly, when I first heard about it, I was like, surely that's like a kid's film, you know, cartoon-like, and it wouldn't be something that I'd really enjoy. And then I watched the trailer, and honestly, I would so urge you to watch the trailer of this film, because it was that then that I was like, oh, it's a blend of real life, and it's filmed like a documentary. I'm making like a little documentary. Oh, it's like it's a like, movie, but nobody has any lines and nobody even knows what it is while they're making it. Mm. About this little shell called Marcel that has shoes on. It's got a little eye and it's a little character, but he's set in the real world. So it's obviously done with, might even be stop motion. Do you know what? I might need to look into that without giving too much away. It's pretty much about his journey of finding the rest of his family that have got gone missing, um, the rest of his shell family. And it's just gorgeous. Like it's beautifully filmed and shot. It's a really unique concept overall. And I absolutely loved it. I just cried at the end when, when everything, I'm not gonna tell you what, but when things happen. It's really, honestly, really gorgeous. And I, I so enjoyed it. 
So yesterday, obviously, I was absolutely shattered from the trip. I just sat on my bed with Bo because I needed to edit a couple of pictures up for the rest of my Milan content. I just needed to sit and just edit pictures. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to sit down and watch a little film. So I watched that and I, it's, it's really brilliant. It's very much for everyone. Obviously, like, kids can absolutely watch it. I think it's a pre PG, PG-13. It's adorable and I've not seen anything like it in a very, very long time. So I would, I would so highly recommend it. No! Oh my god! Arthur. No! No! Arthur! Oh. But if you're not really into like animated films like that, there's another film called God is a Bullet. It's a Sky Cinema original. That's more of an FBI kind of thriller film. That's just been released as well. And there's also a film called Knock at the Cabin. More of a scary thriller type film, which Alex will likely watch because I don't watch anything scary. Sorry, and also I'm just using the nude sticks in bareback, which has been one of my favourites for a very, very, very long time. So I'm just, I'm back on that bandwagon now. It's also great as a lipstick. Sometimes I actually take this out with me as a lipstick. They've also got a full collection right now on Sky Cinema of all the anti-hero movies. So things like Rambo, <laughs> uh, Black Adam, Suicide Squad, Pulp Fiction. This is a tasty burger. Those kind of anti-hero movies. There's a whole collection on Sky Cinema as well. So also if you saw our Milan vlog, I feel like I didn't elaborate enough about the hotel thing. I was so annoyed about it. So like I said, what happened is we booked that room back in February. It's called the Presidential Suite. It obviously looks one certain way. They've got four of them that are all above each other on the very front of the hotel and they all look out over the front, big massive window, so much light. I mean, you'll have seen in that vlog the utter difference between the first room we were in that had a window that was this big to the presidential suite that was a wraparound window moment. Obviously, the hotel had overbooked or, which we think might have happened, is that someone's come along last minute and said they want the presidential suite and so they've debumped us down which is so completely out of order, especially like we've stayed there so many times as paying customers. I've paid a fortune to stay in that hotel over the years. The fact we booked it back in February, you know, I just feel it's so <laughs> unbelievably unfair. They bumped us down, but instead of being honest with us and saying, look, I'm sorry, we've overbooked, we'll move you into that room tomorrow when it becomes free. There's, they were like, a family's checking out tomorrow so we can move you into there. But what they said to us was, so we'll move you into another presidential suite. And they were trying to say that one of their family adjoining rooms had two rooms, tiny little lounge in the middle. And um, they were trying to say that that was a presidential suite. It's just a pure like lying to our faces that annoyed me the most because it's like, do they really think we're that stupid? The rooms are so completely, utterly different. Probably like 50 square meters smaller. You don't get any amenities in that room we were first in. There's no light, there's no city view, there's no extras. And it was just a pure, just lying to our faces. I'd just much rather just been told I'm sorry, but we've messed up here and we're fully booked, but they didn't. And they kept trying to tell us like, no, this is a presidential suite too. And like the boys spoke to the guy, the manager, and he was like, yeah, you know, this is also a presidential suite. And the boys were like, okay, well, which one would you rather stay in? And he was like, oh, well, you know, they're both really nice. And the guys were like, no, no, which would you rather stay in if you were going to get a presidential suite if you were paying this much money for it? It was the fact that they, they wanted me to pay the same price for this family adjoining room as I was for the presidential suite. And it was only because, obviously, we complained about it and said, you know, this is unfair. But they, uh, they offered me 20% off for that first evening, which isn't anywhere near enough. Like I paid, I, I wouldn't have paid anywhere near that amount for that particular room type we got. So yeah, they just completely took us for a ride, which was a real shame. I just don't like to be lied to and treated like we're stupid. I just find it extremely rude that they thought they could get away with that, you know? So yeah, so we won't be, we won't be staying there again. The amount of money we paid to be lied to like that was just really unfair, I think. Ruined, ruined the start of the trip. I've had enough of the BS recently and I'm just not, uh, not in the mood for it right now. Let's carry on getting ready. Maybe I'll use, I'll use a VB, fast slash. Hello. What car do you want today? What car do I want? Love that question. 
<laughs> oh, I love this question. Um, sorry. Um, I might take. Can I take the posh? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna head out in a minute. Ah. Uh, Okay, outfit of the day. My beautiful Saint Laurent jacket that I wear constantly. Underneath, I've got a Max Mara cardigan on. I don't know how cold it is outside, but I thought little black Max Mara cardi. Under that, Loewe tank in white. Then I'm wearing these Boss trousers again. I think they're just the most incredible shape. Um, so I'm wearing those with a pair of Aquazura, my Aquazura booties. And then Armani bag to go with it. Oh, and then I've pulled up the trousers and just so they weren't so low with this Valentino belt and just kind of cinched it round um, to pull it all together. I mean, I really quite love this as an outfit and I've just left my hair tucked so it's out of my face. This is that Ilia makeup. It's just really beautiful, glass skin, super dewy. Like that's how I like my, I know a lot of people don't want to be this shiny dewy all day, but I'm just really, loving this very hydrated skin look right now like that's what i want to have every single day so let's start the day first task on the list just dropping off my philosophy and ferretti samples just thought it would be a lot easier than them collecting these are my options i am in love with this i found the winning dress it's absolutely amazing and look at the boots Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Paris. And we're back. Start us up, Vic. Hey guys. Welcome to Paris Fashion Week episode four. We started off the week with yet more hotel drama. More hotel drama, if you can believe it. We've just checked in at the Hoxton, which is a really gorgeous hotel, and they do make the best coffee in Paris, I think. Good coffee. Yeah, there was just a mix up again with the rooms, and who booked it, who didn't book it, what room we've got, etc. So we've been waiting two hours to get in. And so I need to leave now in 35 minutes for the Bellman show. So Chris is on with, yeah, I'm just needing to just refresh my skin a little bit for the Bellman show, and then we'll be off. I've just realized I've not shown you my new hair color, and you're not gonna be able to fully see it now, but you can kind of tell how dark it is. I've gone a lot more like deep, deep, what would you call this, Chris? The more richer autumnal brain. Yeah, it is, isn't it, really? It is, it feels a lot more copper tone, doesn't it? Personally yeah. think. I'm more brunette now than blonde, would you not agree? I'd say you're a blonde. Yeah, blonde, yeah. Yeah. Bronzed blonde is what I what I coined it when I changed it up a bit. I love it. I like it too. I like it too. I've never known a girl with so much hair before. Really? Yeah, it's so thick. Oh wow. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, but talk. No, no, it's what's what's good now. Bonsoir. What's, bonsoir. No, it's no. Not, is it night time yet? Hiya. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 <It's just English answer. laughs> okay, on our way to the Balmain show. Look at Len, look at this view. Ooh la la. Although I wonder if it's outside. We've got this whole outside bit going on. Look. window was literally the Eiffel Tower so it was really gorgeous in there just really plush benches for everyone to sit on blue curtains it was just really really pretty and really nice scene and also which I know it's not part of the show technically but I was sat next to Meredith Duxbury and I, I absolutely love her so it was really nice to actually like chat with her like she turned to me and was like hi I'm Meredith and I was like and I was like oh my god I, I love you so she's probably like, oh god, this fan girl next to me. But yeah, I just love what she does, so we're having a really good chat. Anyway, um, we are gonna head off for some cheese and wine. Forrest Gump. Forrest 
Boys, girl, this is today's look. Beautiful Bowman white dress. Um, YSL heels, obviously, but never mind. Um, but it's beautiful. Look at the lovely shape of this. It is slightly see through, so my nips are probably on show. Never And then, um, <laughs> cute little green pop of collar. Love it. Love it. Super happy with this. Um, yeah, fantastic show as ever. Thank you, babe. Show it's really warm, isn't it? To have and no. Um, yeah, gorgeous show, really beautiful setting. Um, I love as well that Olivier always comes out at the end. Ooh. Spotted bum. I love that Olivier always comes out at the end as well and says thank you to everyone, like properly walks around. Like I really, I really like that. I really appreciate that. It's always nice to see the designer. But my favourite pieces though, there was um, a really beautiful camisole draped dress. Polka dot with black trim, fully white camisole dress with the most beautiful drape. It was just so French chic. You could just imagine it with like a red lipstick on and no, your hair just undone and it would just look so perfect. Because the night belongs to the lovers. Because the night belongs to the Orange wine for me and Butch. Come back to Hoxton where we're staying. And I didn't realise they've got loads of little restaurants now in here. One of them's called Planche. Planche, is it written anywhere? Planche. And it's a it's an organic wine, cheese and yeah, that's it. Cheese and wine Thank bar. Very right. much. Cheese and wine bar, which is right up our street. So and it's got such a nice like cool vibe in here. So we're just chilling, having some orange wine, and we've ordered a charcuterie board and cheeses. So happy first day. Perfection. <laughs> I think you have given up cheese on the wrong day, Vic. I, know, what I, stupid will, thing to I order. will never give up cheese. I will never, ever, ever give up cheese ever again. I'm so sorry. That's so good. <laughs> oh, that is vital. No. Oh my god, it's horrible. That is vile. Give me some double gloucester. Just on it? Yeah. Morning! How wonderful to start the day with a present. This is just amazing. Thank you so much to the Roger Vivier team. We're heading to their presentation today. I usually go to their presentation um, in Paris. It's always a very interactive, immersive experience, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to this. And they've sent me over some, some goodies. Okay. What a treat this is. It's like you're coming out of the bag now. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, let's have a look. Wow. Oh, that's so gorgeous, look. Love that. The new Viv bag, Roger Vivier Viv bag. Um, and it does come in lots of different colours, and this is the full matte black version. And if I'm correct, I think this also has a fully matte black strap too. Oh, how nice is this, Chris? See, it's got a fully matte black strap. So chic, isn't it? Isn't that gorge? Oh, and it's like shoulder length. Oh, I love that. I like the, um, isn't that lovely? Like the quilted kind of look. On the yeah, so it just looks like padded, doesn't it? I love that it's just a short strap. You no, know, so it's just a, a little shoulder strap. Really love that. Isn't that so chic? Wow. Thank you so much to the Roger Vivier team. That is unbelievable. So I'm going to wear all of these today to the presentation. Da, 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 da. Wow. They're cool. Oh my gosh, they're, they're just so obviously Roger Vivier, aren't they? And then with the leather jacket, do you see my, my thought process? And then this, and then the beautiful bag to go with it. Obviously their, their vibe with the big buckle. And then with like the big leather jacket on, over top, oversized, because it's like super oversized, black, long leather jacket. And um, what should we do with hair then? Right, so hair, I think we should do my usual favourite wave. No, no, I did it about ten times. Yes. <laughs> oh, Chris. Hate it. Absol I just hate it so much. Go somewhere else then. It's just, 
it's just, <laughs> it's just not what I wanted. Like, I, I just don't love looking my best, so thanks for making me look great. That's what I do. <laughs> no, it's freaking amazing! Honestly, like, this is, I just put up an Instagram post, actually. My final Instagram post from Milan, which is me and my Weekend Max Mara suit that I know I've worn it a lot, but I love it. And I have my hair a bit like this, well, pretty much like, like this, didn't I? Yeah. But it's like second day hair. Yeah. And I literally it's put... It's better today than it. Do you think? Do you like it even more today? I said to you that I was in... That was See, I loved it. Well. I loved it though. That's so funny. I think this one looks nicer. I think this one look, kind of like, it just looks a bit more styled. Yeah, it, honestly, it's perfect. This is, this is how I want my hair to look every single day. I just think it just really suits me like this. What is this big? That's not good, is it? Yeah. I'm, I'm really in love with these bodysuits, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but this is an Intimissimi bodysuit and it's a cashmere and it's super sheer, like really thin cashmere but it's such a lovely layer and they do them in all different colours and I really really love it really love it I think it's so nice I'm just waiting on like the perfect leather jacket from Sandro it's coming over that I'm gonna wear for the presentation so that's gonna go on Ronda Vivier bag I just need makeup makeup that's what I need Thank you for asking me, Anna. Um, Pleasure. The bag I absolutely love. This is a Roger Vivier Viv bag mm -hmm. in a full black matte finish with matte straps. And I think it's rather chic. It's very chic and you look very chic indeed. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Can you, can you please now tell us about your bag of shoes? It's got my little Versace. Wait, I can't say that in an English accent. <laughs> Got my little Versace oh. goddess bag, I think she's called, and then I'm wearing these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Roger Vivier mules. Do we call them mules? Look at the heels. And I love them. Yeah. And then I also, great. because you guys loved it, I'm wearing one of my pride and joys, which is a Versace 1994. Where did you find it? Where did you find it? Well, I hunt them down. Really? But this one is, um, I got it from, it's, they're on Instagram and it's Esther Archives. Look them up. Oh. Um, but they have some really amazing archive pieces. Now, Honestly, it's such a beautiful outfit. So look how good this, mm -hmm. okay, so look how good this jacket is on her. I love this jacket. You look absolutely amazing. It's so great, isn't it? Yeah, it's Thanks very cool and I might need to go and buy this. So she influenced me. Oh, it's in here. This is absolutely gorgeous. Imagine that on like a little holiday. This would be so beautiful for our honeymoon, wouldn't it? It's so beautiful in the little cutouts. And that sweet little bag. That's so adorable. Oh, that's nice. Again, that's great. It's like over like a little bikini. Super lightweight. I really, really love this collection of Sandro. Pieces are going to be coming out from November through December, January. So it's kind of very resort vibes meets autumnal. So gorgeous, like leather jackets, etc. Et and then a lot of like cruise vibe pieces that would be perfect for late holidays. But as ever, quality, exceptional, cool fits and cuts. It's just a great all rounder brand. Like, if you've never heard of Sandro, definitely have a peek. It's just like. So many great pieces that will just fit right into your wardrobe, really. Ooh. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this is a little bit bigger. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at the space in here. The man over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there literally was, he was looking right at me. <laughs> we are back from Roger Vivier and Sandro, and now 
we just need to do a we're shooting a campaign with with Fendi for their brand new Fendi first trainers they do come in a lot of different colors these are the kind of cream and pink ones in honesty, I really love the ones that are full cream. They do like a full cream version, but they didn't have any in my size. So I'm gonna shoot these in the pink and then they have the Fendi First heel on them, like the shoes do. So I'm shooting these with a gorgeous dress that they sent me. Ooh, okay, that's nice. That's very me. Just a long day dress. And then I'll, I'll make it work with the shoes. And then I think I might take my gorgeous little Fendi. So the Fendi team sent me this as a beautiful gift recently. So I brought that with me as my bag for the trip. And actually it'll go perfectly with this dress. So I'll wear that, that and the trainers. So we need to shoot this. We're just waiting on some coffees, aren't we? Yes. Quick, quick caffeine. And then we'll shoot this and then it's on to the Louis Vuitton perfume presentation. We're on our way to the Louis Vuitton store on Pont Neuf. Oh, bye bye. Bye, Chris. See, see you tomorrow. See you yeah. tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Bye. We're on our way for an appointment with Louis Vuitton. We're going to be having a talk with the perfumer all about the brand new perfume and why he created it the way he's created it. So it's going to be a really lovely, intimate, very special appointment. So we're heading there, but I've put on my outfit for this evening, which is one of my favourite pieces in my wardrobe, which is a dress that I bought from Victoria Beckham a couple of years back, maybe two or three years ago, because tonight I'm going for a meal with the Victoria Beckham beauty team. So I'm ready now for later. So, navy blue wool dress, Jimmy boots, and then my little YSL bag. Chris has done the most pretty, like, um, knot. What's happened? I think a boss has backed into something. Yeah, I think it has. And we're already in a tough spot, and we're already going to be late because the traffic is that bad. Yeah, that bad. Yeah, yeah. Where? Can't On see. the bus. Oh. Walking it because that was just ridiculous. I don't think the traffic. I mean, the traffic is always the absolute worst in Paris, but it's on another level, another level this week, and it's really quite frustrating. We need to get some lime bikes. We do. We're far. Far easier. Oh, fact, yeah, saw, after the amount of accidents we've seen of people on bikes. Chriselle, Chriselle's been going around on bikes, and I totally get why, because this is just painful. We've made it eight minutes past. But it looks like everyone's just chilling anyway, so luckily I think they've given a buffer, so we're, we're all good. Oh, just look at the views from here, like over to there to the Sacre Coeur over there. So uh, I'm very glad uh, today to meet with you. Thank you for coming. I've um, just finished up at the perfume talk with Jacques. Um, the new perfume I think might be my favourite uh, Louis Vuitton perfume I know. that I've tried. It's called Myriad. Three ingredients, oud, rose and cacao. And it was so nice. They gave us small samples of each ingredient to smell individually and then the actual fragrance to smell. And it's really something like the rose absolute that they extract from grass roses is like sensational. And then mixed with this um, Oud Asan, a really gorgeous unisex fragrance. Like Butch tried it and it's, it's his kind of scent to a tea. It's like 2% Oud. It's very special to be talked through the, perf the perfume with the, you know, the head perfumer was really, really special. The guys are just walking me. The boy's very kindly walking me to dinner. It's a place called Alfred's. Is it down here now? Yes. Down here. We're good. Got to cross it. He's going to have a nice meal with the Victoria Beckham beauty team, which will be lovely. So this is when show, I clock off then. The show tomorrow. So you can clock off. You two are going to go and get steak freaks. Mum, 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 mum. Whilst I go and talk about beauty, which is great. So you're taking over the filming now? No, I'm clocking off too. I want the night off. Okay, Victoria Beckham has arrived. <gasps> Guys, look. These are the brand new um, Victoria Beckham fragrances and we have not stopped talking about these. Shall we do like a little um, perfume, testeroonies? Yeah. Testeroonies? Need some coffee beans. There are three. There are three in the range. San Sidro Drive, 
Sweet 302, which I think is going to be my favourite, and Portofino 97. How cute they come in these little, these little books. Yeah, the boxes are nice. Little book boxes. Right, we, we'll get, which one should we try first? Eena, meena, meena, meena. The one that you think is going to be your favourite. <laughs> 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 yeah, I didn't mean to choose that one. Okay. Oh, this is lovely. Box is lovely. Oh, that is cool. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Right, are we ready? Wait, shall I have first go? Of course. Oh, shall I put it on the booklet? Yes. You can always tell that's the first spray. We didn't rehearse this. Yeah, we didn't rehearse this, yeah. Oh, you're going to love this. And I bet that leather dry down is going to be so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's really like... Tobacco-y. Smell like tobacco. Mm-hmm. I like that. Oh, and, the and now, well. now I'm getting the cherry. Yeah. Oh, God, that leather's nice. Isn't it? I think that paper might smell a bit, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, does it? What, of paper? Yes. Oh, paper. that's nice. <laughs> 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 it smells of paper. Oh, the cherry. Oh, I like that, then. Yeah. So that's Sweet 302. Apparently, this is what the show's going to smell like that's later. That's really nice. And um, then this one is San Sidro Drive, which is a beautiful bright yellow. Passion fruit and pink peony, vitalising ocean air infused with rich rose, saffron flower and argil wood, black amber and vanilla incensing. Food and saffron is like an amazing combination. Is it? Yeah. I like that. I love that one. So the argil wood is the oud. Oh, not what I expected and really lovely. Oh, oh, it's really woody. Like really woody and ambery. That's really gorge. Okay, I prefer that one already. Do you? Yeah. Wow. It's because it's got that underlying oud, yeah. which will probably yeah, settle down is, really nicely. It is more oudy, isn't it? Well, that's really nice. Yeah, that's my favourite. Is it? Yeah. So far? Chris is into his ouds at the minute, though. Oh, yeah, you are into your ouds. So that's the one that's more oudy woody. Oh, my God, that's nice. Tobacco amazing. leather, isn't it? Yeah. That's tobacco leather. That's... I think the leather will dry down really nicely on that, though. That's woody yeah. oudy. And then this one is Portofino 97. How beautiful are the bottles? Really no, nice. That colour scheme is stunning. Isn't I like it? how slim they are as well. Yeah. It's very bag friendly. They're almost a little bit like a whiskey case too. Yeah. Something Flask. quite sort of yeah. This one is a euphoric hit of Calabrian bergamot and black pepper, crisp white sheets, suffused with incense and amber, patchouli and vetiver. Completely different. Oh, what is that? Oh wow, that's beautiful. I can smell it. Is already. that the bergamot that you yeah. can smell immediately? Oh, it's really like light and like. That's a summer fragrance, 100%. Oh, wow, yeah. Wait, let me put me more. <laughs> can you smell it? No, I can't smell it yet. Oh my God, it's really, really nice. Oh, I really like that. But it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's like bright, but then the black pepper kind of makes it a bit more... Just see like on a holiday, going it. to a nice meal, oh, nice that's warm so summer's nice. night. Really nice. I do prefer, yeah. my favourite one is the yellow one. Yellow one, yeah, but that is... That is so nice. This I is, thought... This is like a holiday scent. Yeah. yeah. But, but I thought this was going to be a little bit more citrusy. Almost mm. a little bit like, dare I say it, the Portofino from Tom Ford. Yeah. Whereas this is nothing like no, that. No, it's not. This is like a really more, a much more like mature and a bit sexier. And in fact, absolutely, it's not that's, citrusy. That's the one I can smell the most. It's not citrusy, is it? What is that top note smell though? Is it the bergamot? It would be the bergamot, yeah. Almost has it. Is bergamot a bit orangey? Yeah. Yeah, citrusy, that's yeah. it. But it's an orange citrus, it's not like mm -hmm. a, a not tangy lemon. Yeah. lemon. These are absolutely fantastic. I'm blown away actually, I think these are unreal. I mean, she's spent years working on these. Oh, really? Like, like years and Isn't years. Isn't there stories behind each one as well? Yeah. Or something? Yeah, they're all like, spe uh, like special memories. Tell about the name as well. Because I think, isn't the Portofino, is it the Portofino one meant to be like taken on a date with... 97, I presume. Yeah, oh. like a, like a, a date with date, like a present yeah. date weekend or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think they've all got lovely like, memories. And so what, what was the other one? Sweet? So that'll be a room oh, related look. to a story. Look, they've even got the um, coordinates of where she was. Ah, okay. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. What a beautiful idea. Really luxurious. The the scents in them, you can you you can tell why they are the price they are. Like yeah. that you can smell the ingredients are unreal. Which okay, favourite then? Favourite one? Favourite is that one. So my order is exactly from me to that. So it'd be the yellow, the that, blue that, and that. the white. But I'd like to know how that dries. This yeah. would be my winter fragrance, this would be my summer fragrance. I would probably say maybe my favourite might be this one. Yeah. So good. Yeah, well done. Honestly. <laughs> well done to the team. Unreal. <laughs> we are 
ready for the Victoria Beckham show. We're on our way now. We have our wonderful driver and we've just shot a plethora of content. It's a real game changer. We've, we've been saying it over and over all day, but it's a real game changer when you only have one show to go to per day and you can really focus on it and look forward to it and not dread having to change. So I've managed to film three TikToks, one Instagram reel, and then we've just done a full photo shoot for thumbnails and an extra post. But no, we did four TikToks. I've done four TikToks, haven't I? Makeup one, makeup two, get ready with me, and um, a perfume review, because I'm just really impressed with them, so I thought I'll do a little perfume review. So um, yeah, super exciting. Um, and now we're on our way. I'm wearing, in fact, you'll see the whole makeup look, but there's a bit of a talk through. Lipstick is actually the Cheeky Posh blush in Knickers, which I love as lipstick. Also wearing that as blush, I'm wearing the Bronzing Brick um, Vaslash Mascara, the Navy Blue Coal Eyeliner, like winged out, and the Pearl Reflect Highlight. Yeah, it's a full VB look, but like I said, it will all be on. I'll be on TikTok too. Um, right, so on the way to the show, and I can't wait, can't wait. Just doing final touch ups. Hi, babe! What perfect time! Are you okay? Oh, I don't want to mess your hair up. You okay? <laughs> Hello! Hello. 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 How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good to see you again. You okay? Hey, yeah, I'm Chris, good, thank you. Are you okay? You're all right. I've heard that there are some really huge celebs coming to this today, which is really great. It's, yeah, I just love how much recognition that Victoria gets because her clothes are magnificent. Um, it's the most beautiful venue. I mean, look at this venue. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, so we've had all of our pictures. I'm gonna get a quick drink and then get ready for the show. I'm honestly so excited about this. Like, yeah, just my heart's racing. I'm so excited. Just Victoria, great. ladies and gentlemen, tell us about it. How do you style it? What are you wearing? Um, so I'm wearing full Victoria, obviously. Um, a beautiful rich blue wool roll neck, which Victoria does perfectly, and then a beautiful pleated skirt that just drapes to perfection. Absolutely love the fit. Okay, and tell us. If you could describe Victoria Beckham in one word, what would it be? Sophistication. Oh, so sure of that. I love that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was perfect. I'm part of the crew. Yeah. By the way, if you watch the video, the vlog, probably three weeks ago. So this is the this is the Lindsay Holland that I was swooning over for about 20 minutes of the <laughs> vlog. This is Don't. Lindsay. <laughs> so we were sat together at the VB show, and then we're going to all go back now to the Hoxton to get food and get ready for the VB party. But the show was absolutely phenomenal. Like the cuts and like the details and like almost like the darting and extra little sections of all of the pieces this season were just so beautiful. They were like a slide, a pointed slide. Yes. And then there were also some, also some heels with a sock all the way over the shoe and up the leg, which were amazing. Yeah, with open toe. Yeah. Yeah, like those. And the socks are just yeah. really a lovely touch as well, weren't they? Lots of knee socks. Yeah, we, we me, Lindsay and Mariana sat together just like, wow. 
help. I saw some of the glasses. Great. The glasses look really cool. Great glasses. Yeah, so really good. thick and thick. Yeah. The ones Kendall was wearing size. at the end. Yeah, she looks insane yeah. in hers. That yeah. was so good. She she looked so great. You almost couldn't recognise her because she had her hair slicked back, big glasses, very played down makeup. Like, I, I only knew it was going to be her because I was waiting for her to come out. I had a feeling she was going to be last. Yeah. But otherwise, I feel like she looked really different. She did. So edgy. And who did you see, Chris? Lisa Renner. <laughs> and I and told her I loved say? her. <laughs> what did she say? Thank you. <laughs> she didn't even say it back. Oh. She probably follows me. Yeah. Hair by Chris Long. <laughs> what a night we had. So we were at the show, came back here with Lindsay and her friend Kim. We went back to the restaurant. Um, Blanche, which is here, it's like a cheese and wine restaurant. Went back there, had cheese and wine. Chris redid my hair and put my like twozels back in, which I just love. Um, I put my lifestyle dress on, and then we went to the VB after party, um, and it was it was so good. Let me tell you about it when we when we see Chris, because he's just gonna love the goss. Okay. Oh, hi there. Yeah, okay. Good morning. How's it looking good? Yeah, looking great. You hang over? Oh, Thank you very much. Very welcome. You hang over? We're just telling the guys. Because um, I knew Chris would be dead excited. So, so last night at the party, Kim Kardashian turned up. She looked absolutely sensational. Like, the most beautiful skin and makeup, and her hair was almost like. It was kind of like super like mermaid with that like, wet look. I've already seen it on Instagram. Are you already seen yeah. it? Oh. <laughs> and then she had this really cool, like, oversized. Um, leather jacket on, like, with those, like almost like a varsity jacket, didn't she? It's like a biker jacket. And it was funny because we were talking to Rose Ferguson, we were, so the three of us were just stood, and then literally Kim wandered along with a guy and stood right, literally right behind us on the chat, and I was like, oh wow, it's so literally Kim Kardashian. I've lost my <laughs> <Like> shirt. Amazing. <laughs> I generally would have lost my shirt. Really? Because <laughs> it was funny because Lindsay, Lindsay saw and just went, <laughs> so funny. So anyway, so we saw her, and then we sat back down, and then Leonardo DiCaprio walks in. Amazing. What a gorgeous man. Gorgeous man. So he walks in, and then he starts talking to Kim Kardashian. It's like the two most famous people in the room then speak to each other, and then they both just go. And that, and that was just a great part of the night. It was a really good party, actually, though. It was just a really nice atmosphere, good music. We had Don Julio, so everyone was just having tequilas, and there's loads of food out. Of course, Victoria Beckham was there, and David Beckham, and all of their family, and everyone was just milling around, and everyone was just mingling, and that's what's so nice. Like, they weren't in a back room away from everyone. Everyone was mingling and just walking around. So it was just a really lovely, whoa, just a really lovely atmosphere. So we had a really good time. And then came up. Okay, I'm on my phone. Sorry, I know the quality is going to be absolutely shocking. One sec. We're off the camera today because we're technically having a day off and uh, we're going shopping. And so I have been booked into the Guerlain Institute on the Champs Elysees. And Boo Boo is really excited because he's been wanting to go into the Guerlain store to try out all of the, um, the Guerlain scents. Because, like, like we said before, he's obsessed with cologne and perfumes. So they're going to go shopping. I'm going to go for my massage. And I'll try and get whatever I can on, on film. But then, um, so I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Goodbye. Have fun. Goodbye. Do I just go in? Do I just pull it? Do I press this? Oh wow. Oh, it's just amazing in here. So so the reason I'm here is because I've been here before, um, twice I think for a massage, and it was some of the most life-changing massages I've ever had in my life. And so I wanted to come back because where better to come than here? It's just stunning. And this um yeah, it's just like a little cozy room to sit and wait and they've got all the products it smells unbelievable in here the room of orchids oh just heaven i'm so happy <laughs> that was amazing amazing full body massage of dreams gorgeous i love granite sarah and lila with us hi 
Hi guys! <laughs> we finally met up with these guys here in Paris and they recommended this place. It's called Cafe Berry. Cafe, probably Cafe, Cafe Berry rather, not Cafe. <laughs> Cafe Berry. Um, everything looks absolutely delicious like these little brioche buns. Me and Lyle both got Turkish eggs. Sarah's got scrambled eggs. It just looks so good. And the coffee, like this coffee is really good, right? It's, it's so really good. delicious beans. Hey, we've got some little gluten free bread. Oh, that looks so good. It looks great, right? That's, that's a, a bit of rye. That's, that's a, a, that's a rye, right? Yeah, this looks fab, doesn't it? Gosh, I love it. Hey guys, welcome back to the good footage again. Today I won't be on my phone filming. I will be on my phone otherwise. Yesterday was a really nice day off and it was such a long one that I actually forgot that yesterday was when I had that massage. <laughs> I thought it was like a few days ago. So yeah, had the had the Galan massage, which was the dream as ever. And then we, what did we do then? Oh, and then we saw Sarah and Lyle, had a great brunch. And then we went to Saint Laurent shopping for over an hour and a half. <laughs> And then, and then we've just checked into Madame Rev. We stayed here now. Was it once we stayed? We stayed once, but we've been here a few times for dinners. This is like a really new. It's only a couple of years old. This hotel. It's a really gorgeous new hotel. Really brilliant location. So nice. Show everyone outside. We have a little balcony terrace, and later on we're going to have a little glass of wine out there, all four of us, before we have dinner. But we've got loads of room, which is so. It's just, it's just a really lovely light hotel room. Uh, yeah, I need to remember this because a lot of Paris hotels can be so dark. Like the last hotel room we were in was, was, was lovely, but it was just so dark, wasn't it? Yeah, Whereas this, this is nice and bright. so bright, so much light, it's beautiful. It's great for me for her. So Chris is currently doing a very shiny, wet look. But I actually don't know what, what, what's going on back there. What's going on? Is it a little bum? Yeah, like shape. Oh wow! Oh that's so pretty! The first show today is the Acre show and I have the most fantastic dress and outfit for it and it's the dress that on my stories last year when I was watching the show I was swooning over this particular dress and on my stories I even said this is my favourite dress of the entire show and the team remembered and they said would Victoria like to wear her favourite dress? So, I'm really, really thankful. It's stunning. Oh, so yeah, I'm excited. Isn't it pretty? So, we're on our way to the Acre show. Oh, I can't see it. On our way to the Acre show. Do you know what I'm gonna save this for? I'm gonna wear this as my Christmas day dress. Yeah. Wouldn't it be stunning? Very fitting. And I'll have my hair in my two sold waves that I love. Me and Chris are going to do soon a tutorial on how he does my favourite, favourite two-sold waves <laughs> or with using the corral. I think we should do that. Yeah, no, I want to sure. know. I want you to teach I've me. I've had quite a lot of messages asking me how to do it. Have you? Yeah. I love that. Well, I don't know either, so we'll do that soon. Anyway, so um, I'm wearing the dress and then this is the brand new Acri bag, the Anna Hobo bag. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. It's like the perfect everyday size. It doesn't come with the longer strap, it's literally a shoulder bag and that's kind of what it's made for. You can adjust the length of the strap, but the thing that makes it really special with this trapezoid, which is the Acri, so it's like the signature Acri shape, pulls together like this and then you can wear it looped as and with it like an arm strap or you can wear it down and kind of hold it here over the wrist. It's just a really stunning bag and the leather is exceptional and then the green is perfect with this outfit. And then of course my beautiful hair by Chris. Beautiful hair by Chris. And I feel like my skin is really like skinning today. Don't you think? It's really glowing to the gods. It's skin. that um skinning. Skinning. It's, it's quite skinning. nice because your skin's glowing <laughs> and then we kind of got the high shine on your hair, so yeah. it kind of like all just blends. I'm just beaming, aren't I really? I'm just beaming away. Um oh, and then we've just been shooting as well on top of the um on top of Madame Rev. They've got a stunning rooftop. Honestly, that hotel is truly exceptional. And as I was walking into the elevator to come meet these guys, em Emrata walked out the lift. I now wish I wish I now had said like, "Oh hi, I'm, I love what you do." Should have done that, shouldn't I? Done. I'm just happy for I love them. And I told you I loved her. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's just so beautiful, and she smiled at me, and I smiled back because I was like, "It's Em." literally love her so much. Her book, by the way, if you've not read her book, it is 
fantastic. So good. Hey, Karen. Hello. <laughs> Textures. Uh, I love the crochet knits for um, fantastic. <laughs> I heard Karen say that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely gorgeous show actually. Um, the colour palette was really pretty. They had this like poppy theme. So they had poppies lining on one side down the wall and they had a live band. So they had a guy in like a proper jazz drummer where they play like, like this. So there was a number of poppy themes in there and also poppy prints interwoven lace florals that make beautiful fabrics. Um, favourite pieces, I think, there was a really... In fact, shall I show you my favourite pieces? We never usually do this. I, I recorded it a few times because I was like, that is so nice. This is one of my favourite pieces here. It looks a bit denim, I don't know if it is. It might just be a, a rich denim blue cotton, but gorgeous like shirt jacket with the most beautifully fitted around the waist trousers a drape so beautiful i mean look at that as a two-piece that was one of my favorite pieces yeah such a gorgeous color palette the way this lace work the florals are laced i mean look how pretty that poppy red is it was it was a really beautiful show all the way through like a really cohesive collection for spring Voila. So great to be back. Oh, right. So, two out of two done. We only have one. One show left tomorrow. So I've just got I just went into the Hermes um, presentation. Um, it's just really nice to be able to see all of the beautiful Hermes accessories and objects as they call them. In fact, I even got this little book. Hermes book, how cute is this? A little book of like illustrations and things. So oh, that was beautiful. Um, so that's lovely. Yeah, just some really gorgeous new colourways and bags and very, really, really um, <clears throat> lots of very summery pieces. They had like a whole room that was dedicated to like summery, like beach towels, beach hats, that kind of thing. And just more of the wonderful colourways and accessories from in there. So it was just really nice to, to be invited and to see it. And I loved walking around in my beautiful new suit. And then we stopped by again. Sorry, it's on the wrong because there were another pair of shades that I really, really wanted. And I went to buy them online and they didn't have them online. So I thought whilst I'm in the store, I'll buy them. And they're just, they're cool, aren't they? Just a really easy, like super simplistic compared to what I wore, compared to my huge brown ones. Where even are they? He's just super simple. That'd be nice. Do you like them? Right, so we have an hour before dinner. We are eating tonight at Madame Rev in their new uh, restaurant called Kitchen. Uh, we haven't eaten there before, have we? So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, all four of us just having our final dinner of Fashion Week. So, need to get ready. Okay, I'm back on my phone just because we're having a really wonderful meal at the hotel at Madame Rev. It's called Kitchen. It only opened three weeks ago. The food looks absolutely amazing, so I thought I'd just quickly show you. So Butch and Chris have never eaten snails before and all three boys have ordered their snails. So let's have them um, let's have first reactions to escargot. That's really nice. I'm just waiting for, I'm just waiting after the other day. Ew, that's horrible. Oh my god, it's horrible. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. It's really good, isn't it? Oh. It's got the same texture as cockles. Yes, it has. Cockles? Yeah. What's a cockle? It's like mussels. 
It's quite oh. similar to mussels, isn't it? Okay. Never heard of that. Oh, it's oh. good. Yeah, okay. Oh, good. Oh, I'm good. You're liking it. It's very hot though, be careful. It looks delicious, all the garlickiness with the bread. It must smell lovely tomorrow. Yeah, fast yeah. do a bit Yeah. <laughs> oh, I good. have this tomato salad. I mean, look how gorgeous that looks, that tomato salad. Wow. I'm with the sorbet as well. It's like a tomato really good, and herb sorbet. Oh, yes, it is mm. a tomato sorbet. Oh, wow. Are you enjoying it, babe? They're good. They look great. Really good. Mm. To give you a bit of a context, we sat outside the hotel and it's just gorgeous. So again, the boys all ordered the same meal, <laughs> beef and fritz, <laughs> and then I ordered the prawn curry, which look, you can't see it there, sorry, the, it's low light, but it looks so good. Final show of Paris Fashion Week and up the whole fashion month, the Louis Vuitton show, and my look is amazing this season, I absolutely love it. So this is my Louis look an amazing black dress with leather panels i think maybe leather i'm not too sure actually just such a cool shape with the silver necklace strap to go with the lv twist bag again with the silver straps it all kind of pulls together and then the boots are awesome they've got rivets over the very front just little details so it all just goes together as a full like silver and black look it's amazing i've had to put on my new saint laurent shades just because it's so bright today and my eyes are struggling and then chris has done the most gorgeous half up half down pony with just big curls with the air wrap so it's just yeah so happy but before we go to the louis vuitton show um we're just going to quickly knit next door where there's going to be a reese of the Kate show. So the Kate show we saw in New York for New York Fashion Week, they're doing a re-see where you can actually see the clothes up close and see them, um, which I really wanna go to because I'm just such a, a big Kate customer. So I really wanna go see them all in person. So yeah, that's first thing to do and then the Louis show is second. We're just making our way down the Champs-Élysées now to the show. I hope I've not ruined my makeup. Final touch-ups because it's absolutely crazy down there, outside the show, so <laughs> a little bit scared. <laughs> favorites actually that Nicola has done um, it was a lot of like checked prints actually which is quite unusual I think for Louis Vuitton a lot of it's a lot of big check prints in really beautiful pastel colors for spring so many lovely new bags some great heels just a really gorgeous collection and it was a brilliant venue yeah just a fantastic show and now we're gonna go to the hotel pick up bags and then go straight to Gardenor home. So, in fact, this might be the last time I see you. Um, firstly, I hope you've enjoyed the Paris vlog, but secondly, I hope you've enjoyed episode one, Copenhagen. If you've not seen Copenhagen yet, make sure you go watch that video. I'll leave everything down below. So episode one, Copenhagen, two, New York. Episode three was Milan, and then episode four. So I hope you've seen them all. I might make like a little playlist of all four of them. Um, we hope you've enjoyed them. Thank you for watching and for your support. And uh, we'll see you soon.